Hi everybody, it's Birdie with Luna. Let me sit you up, Luna. I have Luna, and she, we been to the doll show we, in Kansas at the doll show. Let me pick Luna up. Here you go, my Luna. Luna was a big hit, and yes, she has a pacifier. Uh, let me get a pacifier, girl. I know you don't need it. For travel times. And during travel times, I put a pacifier in her mouth because we don't want her to cry. If she cry while we out, it's going to cause a whole bunch of chaos. This hair I can take off of her now. When you go to the show, they put this on my baby. So, they know who's a new baby and who's a baby that came into the show. Ugh. But yeah, Luna had a good time up until today. Because today, Luna got a couple, couple of people ride home back with her. And she was upset. She was very upset at her brother, her new little brother. He don't have a name, but here he is. He has a hat on because I don't like the way his hair feels. He has perfectly okay hair that I'm not touching because you know I have sensory problems as far as touching things. And he is in Luna way sometimes. And Luna got a bad habit of acting up. Cut it out, Luna. Cut it out. Let him stand. Let him sit with you. So this is one of the babies I got at the doll show. I love him. He is so cool. I like his fingers. And now I'm not sure if he's a boy or a girl at this point. I'm looking at him as a boy. We'll see how I feel about it later. So we got him, and I'm gonna have to put Luna down for the next one. Okay, I know Luna, don't be upset, mama. Don't, don't be upset. Lay down right here, bitch, to your brother. And he is your brother, don't say he ain't no brother of yours. He is your brother. And she's got a new little sister. Uh, she got a new little sister. And this is her. Isn't she adorable? She has painted hair. Yep, this is her little sis. And she is a sweetheart. Oh, I'm going to fall off the bed. I'm sliding off the bed. Yeah. That's that mama think of butt. That's that mama think of butt. And she doesn't have a name. She doesn't have a name either. But she just came home. And we about to travel back to Georgia. So, how, I don't know. Because all I brought was one bag full of clothes and a book bag with snacks. And nobody seemed to be fitting, so I'm going to try to maneuver it. And that's what we got at the doll show. I also picked up a sweater for Jersey. Luna Artist gave me this sleeper and this sleeper for the new baby because the new baby has to be covered up in order to ride back with me because she can't touch Luna. And I got Luna these sleep these here shoes. I'm gonna take one out so you can see them. I forgot Luna these shoes. And they're blue. So that was a must have. Then I won this here dress. I won this dress and a, and a pacifier. And then um, another artist or another vendor gave me a pair of legs. Kicking it around, just kicking it around. So these here were cool. I got me a pair of legs. And I was just now getting ready to pack things down to get ready to go home. Because I leave in about three or four hours.
and I don't know which one of these I'm gonna put on the baby. I like this one here because they have these ugly crow birds out here. Mm, they don't look like regular crow. They look terrible. So I don't like them crow birds. But all in all, I didn't video anything at the show. Why? Because I was so busy having a good time, y'all. I apologize, but I'm not mad at it because I'm going to do it again. Because I don't videotape, especially if I want to enjoy the moment. I actually need to be present mentally and physically in order to enjoy the moment. And if I'm videotaping, I'm not physically and mentally present because I'm on the video. <sighs> this here guy, I was scoping out all day. I went and I looked at him. And this is why he got this wrapped around his head because I don't want to touch it. It's a bit. I didn't have a hat yet, but he's going to be my hat child. And I really don't know if this is a girl outfit or boy outfit. I'm thinking it's a girl outfit. We'll see if she's going to be a girl. If it's a girl, I got to learn how to do something with that head. The other baby over here, the vinyl baby, she was made in Costa Rica. I don't know where he was made, but his artist is amazing because everything on him is stitched. And of course, you know who Luna was made by. She is a Rachel Pharrell baby, and I just love her. I have not been making a lot of videos, and I apologize for that. But we have this store out here. Well, since I've been out here, I went to this restaurant called Spangler's. Oh my goodness. It's not like a, a real restaurant. It's like a fast food chain, but it got wraps or gyro like sandwiches. It got a, some homemade donuts. It's good. They sell margaritas from open to close. Not just margaritas, cocktails. Let me get that right. Because I had uh, tequila sunrise. It was really nice. They sell her breakfast menu. I really, really had a good time. I'm ready to go home. When I get home, I'm not going to have time to do this video. So I'm doing it now while I'm still at the hotel because when I go home, I'm going to work. Same day. Then a few hours later. And I'm going to put Luna on a sleeper. I'm going to put the new baby on a sleeper. Let me get Luna sleeper while I'm talking. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was going to do this video on my phone. I really don't have space. So... I didn't do a video to show y'all Luna's dress, but I'm going to show y'all her dress real quick. That she wore the first day of the show. She's going to wear this hat, maybe. She going to wear the hat or the new baby's going to wear the hat. But Luna's going to sleep in a ride home in this bumblebee sleeper. And this is the dress she wore day one of the show. She wore this dress day one in the show. She was amazing. Everybody in the show loved her. I knew she was the bomb diggity because she's my Luna. But she really hit it off big at the show. She was definitely an own show stopper. Nobody believed how old she was. And it looked like yellow is her day. It's, yellow is her color of the day. But she's taking off yellow and putting on yellow. We're going to take this off. I hope I don't have a lot of problems with the TSA with all these babies, with Luna and her. So I'm going to try to put somebody in the bag. I'm assuming it might be the vinyl baby. I'm not sure because Luna and this guy can touch. These two can't touch. Luna's not fitting in the bag. That's not going to happen. Maybe, I don't know, if I covered them both up really well, and put socks. I might put socks on one of their hands. So they don't touch. At all. And then I just keep the girls in my arms. And put, try to put him in the bag. And the only reason I want to put him in the bag. Is because he's soft. And I can squish him in there. I can't. And, and I can't really harm him. He's one. Like, he's like a pillow. A very cute custom pillow. So 
So I might try to shove him in the bag because he the only one that will fit in the bag and I won't have to take out the bag. The other two I will have to take out the bag. And I'm going to take the bows out of Luna hair because I'm not going to travel with bows in her hair. I don't want any restrictions on her. So everything will come off of her on this trip. Let me see how this pack fit on her head. It really don't look like it did. Take your ponytails out. I hope everybody had a wonderful Sunday. Can we put this on your head, Mom? Yeah, put it on her head. It can go on her head. And that's what I will, it's barely going on her head. It's <laughs> barely. I'd rather put it on her head because she has hair than the other baby. And put your little tootsies in there. Now I'm going to go home and I'm not going to do a video because I got to go to work and I'm going to work for a few days. And when I get off, I don't know if I'm going to feel like doing the video. Because I've been gone for a couple of days and who knows what home is like. When I get there, I do have living pets and people there. And I'm pretty sure they miss me too. I don't want to promise you anything. I saw a lot of people at this show in Kansas. I look forward to seeing them again next year. That's for sure. I expect to see some of you guys there that wasn't here this year. So plan to come, please. Share this video. Let everybody know how good Kansas was. Because they missed out this year. You really did. Kansas was a really big show. Really nice. Earl from Re Embracing Reborn should have a lot of video footage and maybe some video. I mean, pictures, videos. But she may have gotten some in here. I know I didn't. I didn't even try to tell you the truth. I will tell you how good it is. It's your job to show up so you can see for yourself. Luna, this is a six month outfit and she's just getting into it. I'm so glad that I didn't try to put her in one of them other ones. This is look like. I should have put a onesie on under here. But I'm tired. I don't have much time to be awake. So I'm just gonna let this ride. I'll fix her when she gets home because I don't really keep her in pajamas. To be honest, I might take that off and put a onesie on. But I wanted to let you guys know, I'm going to let the new baby say goodnight, Luna, okay? I'm going to let the new baby say goodnight. And if I can remember some stuff, I will definitely uh, come on and do a video. She's such a cutie pie. And she's size zero, three months. See that little face? <laughs> you want to say see you later, auntie, uncles, and cousins? Say, mm -hmm. Thanks for watching.